will see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. So this morning we are in Rotorua painting a van. This is Claudio's van, him and his daughter and family go traveling and camping in this van. He's asked me to finish off two of the sides, the back and this side here. Um, really excited to work on this. I've drawn up a little design, planned it out. He's happy with that design. I'm excited to get into it. You'll see that design too. Let's go. Now we definitely don't want to get any paint on these tires or these windows. Nothing apart from what we're trying to paint should be painted. So first step is masking. So our masking is done, which means we can spray all over the windows and it's not going to give us any problems and we can work without worrying about damaging the rest of the vehicle. It took me about two or three rolls of masking tape just to do two sides of the van, so that gives you some indication of how much it might take you. I can't emphasize enough how important masking is, um, it just means you get clean lines at the end of it, which is so important. Um, you don't have to be the best painter in the world, but if your masking is alright, We'll have a good finish. So our next step is to start planning the design. Um, I've got a bit of a grid worked out on a piece of paper but it's going to take a few tries for me to get that onto the canvas so let's do that. I'm doing this kind of weird motion as I start the curve on these lines isn't because I think I'm the airbender or something it's because it's hard to explain but basically if you're just using your wrist to control the motion um, it, it's kind of looser and you don't get a, a consistent line in a nice curve but if you use your shoulder think of it like a compass you use your whole shoulder and you pivot around the shoulder rather than around the wrist you get more of a controlled curve so that's why I'm kind of before I start that curve at the start of it, I just pull back and just try and use my shoulder, not moving my wrist much at all. If you don't try and use it like that, you'll find your, your lines aren't as curved and smooth, so you have to try them again and again and again. And I still have to try many times, it's not a perfect technique, but it helps, it's, it's something to know. So there we go, tips with squid. So I'm pretty happy with these lines, they're not perfect, but what I'm going to start doing is add some colour to those lines so that they've got a base, and I'm going to overlap that with, with some tape, and when I spray the next colour along, that is going to create a really clean line. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Let's go. Alright, 
it's day two. We've taken off the masking tape. Um, I cleaned up a few of the lines that weren't quite right. I had to remask a couple areas, especially like the point where all the colors meet. That was a bit tricky. I had to do each color individually. Um, but now we're going to start on some of the designs on the top. This is obviously a happy themed van. So um, the image I've got is a dove and a couple peace signs. I'm going to grid them and draw them up onto the van and then change them a bit once they're on the van. studio I've taken the masking tape off and it is all finished um, one thing I didn't mention is after you've finished everything you want to give it a nice clear coat to protect it from the Sun and the weather this isn't the only way to paint a van in fact it's the first time I painted a van but this is the way I approach pretty much all of my murals and it seemed to work here so hopefully you've learned a few things from this video if it's your first time painting a van good luck to you I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it please subscribe it really helps me out by supporting the channel um, and let's take a look at the finished product Oh,